So Friday night is curry night and I'm making a gorgeous North Indian prawn curry. I love it because it's gorgeous and mild and creamy with a little hint of ginger as well. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to get a bit of heat on in my pan. And then when I'm doing a curry, I usually use a non-fragrant oil. So something like a sunflower oil or a rapeseed oil would work very well. So a good drop of oil goes in there. And then I'm putting in these fenugreek seeds, and they're quite easy to get nowadays, but you need to cook them off a little bit, so they need about 30 seconds in hot oil just to, to I suppose, release their aromas. So you've got a stronger flavour coming through in your curry. Okay, we should leave them to warm up. And then the other ingredients that'll go in are some red onion, and I think a little bit of sliced ginger would be nice in it. But... I have to put in a chilli as well. Now, this isn't a hot curry. This is a really mild curry. So I don't even want to chop the chilli. So I have a great tip. What I do is I get my fork and then I just make little prods into the chilli like so. And then when that goes into the curry, all the flavour comes out, a little bit of the heat comes out, but I have that gorgeous chilli then for garnishing afterwards. It looks really nice. They're popping nicely. So red onion. Love that sizzle of onion. Oh, it's beautiful. And a gorgeous base flavour. The ginger, that's been nicely sliced. And my chilli. So what I always do when I'm cooking off onions, I wait until the steam comes out, which means I've got a nice bit of heat coming through the onions, and then turn it really low and let them slow cook. That sweetens them and that gives a gorgeous base flavour for any soup or stew and especially for this curry. Now they're going to take a good few minutes but I want a bit more flavour in my curry. So over here I have some chopped tomatoes and I'm going to pop them into my food processor and blend them down and that's going to give a thickness to this curry and it's also going to give a lovely colour and a beautiful flavour. So these are lovely little cherry tomatoes on the vine that I'm using. You can use ordinary Irish tomatoes in the summer as well. They're really, really sweet. So we have that. And also I'm going to pop in there a little bit of grated ginger. I did say there was a bit of ginger in this, so we've ginger gone in there, more ginger in here, but it works very well in this recipe. So I have my microplane grater, and I'm just going to grate down this ginger here. I love the smell of ginger, absolutely love it. So fresh. And some garlic, so you just pop those in. And now it's just blend. Perfect. That's all we need. So we just give this a little stir now. Oh, it just smells so good, so fresh. It is incredibly easy to make your own curry. A lot of people are put off by it. They think it's so complicated and you need so many weird ingredients. There's nothing weird about this. Everybody has onions, everybody has ginger. And all the little spice we're going to put in, I bet you you have a half a jar of them sitting in your cupboard at home anyway that you're just dying to use up. So go make your own curry and you'll be so grateful you did. It's going to taste brilliant. So now my onion has totally melted down. Next thing I need to do is get my spices in. So I have here garam masala, turmeric. It's going to be a lovely flavour in the turmeric. And some ground cumin. I'm going to pop them in. I also need some coriander. So I had whole coriander seed and I just ground it down a little bit after I toasted it and we're going to pop that in. Now my heat goes back up a little bit because I need to cook these spices a tad. Oh, it just smells like a different country. Oh, it's so good. So exotic. So by cooking the dried spices, we're going to get more flavour, 
But we also have this lovely tomato mix and this is going to give us colour, it's going to give us flavour and it's going to give us texture. So let's pop this in. And as if things couldn't get any easier, next thing that go in are these gorgeous prawns. Now you can use diced chicken if you wanted to, but I just, I love prawns in a curry. And the beauty of it is they cook so fast. So we pop those in. Oh, look at them. Turn the heat up. And I need a little bit more water in there because there's just not enough sauce to cook the prawns and the water will thin out the sauce as well, which is gorgeously thick and packed with flavour. Oh my. Four minutes to cook prawns. I mean, life's getting easier by the second here. I have some cream because this is going to give this a lovely richness as well. Um, you could put coconut milk in if you preferred, but I like the bit of cream in it. So in that goes. Some people like creme fraiche in it as well because they like the little sharpness. But instead of using the creme fraiche, I'm putting in the full cream and then I'm going to put in a little bit of lemon juice. And I haven't seasoned this either, so I definitely need a bit of salt in there. It's funny, I am married to a Sicilian. I mean, he loves his Sicilian food. But if you were to ask him honestly what's his favourite, he'd say an Indian curry. Oh, that looks so good. Now, next, a little bit of lemon. So just roll the lemon, get a little bit of heat into it there. You get more juice out of it that way. And we'll just cut. There we go. Now, and then just squeeze a tad of lemon juice. This is just to taste. So you pop that in like that. Give that a stir. And as that's just heating up, I'm going to chop up some coriander. And you can use the little stalks of the coriander as well. I might give this just a rough chop. And over we go. Dinner is ready. Little bit of quality control before I serve my guests. I am the cook after all, I'm allowed taste, aren't I? Mm -hmm. You have to try this, this is lovely. And of course, this is only part of the meal. This will be served with gorgeous poppadoms and we'll have naan bread. We'll have a lovely flavoured rice with star anise running through it. We'll have our own raita. We'll have a lovely mango chutney. All of that will just be one big platter of delicious food. Mm. Yes, Friday night is curry night. Mm.